Greetings, beloved human. Thank you for joining me. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. Welcome to Sunday T Tarot for March 31st. We're going to go ahead and find out what's the tea on today. What's happening? Who's talking about you? Who's thinking about you? Possibly, is it you? Are you causing drama? Are you spilling the tea, beloved human? If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Tea Tarot. Let's see what we can find out what's happening in the world today, in your personal world, beloved human. All right. Okay, there we go. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Interesting. Wolf in sheep's clothing. What is that all about? A wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody is not who they say they are, beloved human. So this feels cautionary right now. Anything else, spirit? Anything else for our beloved human? Let's see. Running. Maybe you should be running far away from this person. Same shit, different day. Interesting. And one more. Impersonator. We got that impersonator. That wolf in sheep's clothing is impersonating being your friend, perhaps. Someone impersonating uh, being an honorable person. And it looks like you should be running far, far away from them is what I'm feeling. Let's get some clarity with the tarot. We're going to go with this one. Same shit, different day. So I feel like there is a cycle of dishonesty happening around you, beloved human. That you should be very, very mindful of. This wants to pop out. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should be very mindful of this negative person. You should be getting far, far away from them. <laughs> Running. Run. Do not walk. They are not who they say they are. It's always something with them. It's, it's always something that's on the negative side of things. Like they don't appreciate life and... That's not healthy for you, beloved human. All right, what else can we get? We got death, eight of pentacles, nine of swords, six of cups. Okay, so this is someone that has recently um, come back into your life after a period of being separated away from being a part of your everyday life is what I'm feeling. And it's definitely time. Like, I'm feeling that 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 relationship ended for a reason. Whether it's platonic or romantic, what have you, I'm not feeling it one way or the other. Um, but it's it had ended before and then this Six of Cups shows up. And I'm definitely feeling like it's someone from your past it's you you felt like you needed to give them another chance beloved human you were questioning yourself as far as did i did i treat them well was it you know was it my fault and um what i'm feeling no it was not your fault your instinct was right at that time to to cut ties with this person <clears throat> because they gave you a lot of anxiety they gave you a lot of restless restless nights i feel like they really gasped they were gaslighting you constantly, and so you did question the breakup, the the separation of that relationship, uh, and they have returned, but they are not who they say they are with this wolf in sheep's clothing. They are impersonating someone who wants to be kind to you. They are not authentic. It's the same shit from before, just a different day. They are not, their behavior has not changed uh, and you absolutely should end this. This death card shows up. You should end this. Run away. Do not walk. 
you must be diligent and determined at protecting your energy, beloved. You have to protect your energy. You have to protect your personal power because that is what they want from you. That is what they want to take from you. They want to drain you of your identity. They want to drain you of your confidence and leave you restless, um, in turmoil, sleepless. So it was not a mistake. You did, you did allow this person back into your life, beloved, and... You did that because you are kind-hearted and you wanted to give it another chance. You know, you've had second chances before in your life and you are the type of person that also gives second chances. But I'm telling you, with what I'm seeing here, they have not changed. Same shit, different day. Same person, different timeline. But they there's nothing different. They are impersonating a kind person. They are not who they say they are. With this impersonator card showing up and the wolf in sheep's clothing, you have to you have to get them away from you. You really do. Um, let's get some more clarification here. This is this is wild. This is absolutely wild. Run, do not walk in this now because you are getting sucked in to something that is going to be far more negative than the previous relationship you had with this person jeez oh, mm -mm -mm. i'm trying to figure out mm. all right let's see what else we can get here the magician yeah they're definitely they work their magic to get back into your life with this magician card they turned on the charm yeah and they wanted to present themselves as someone different but they aren't they wanted to present themselves as someone who is compassionate i'm seeing with this queen of cups but that's not them you are compassionate right but they they work their magic with the magician card they they turned on the, ch the charm and the charisma to convince you to let them back in and oh i'm kind i'm different i've changed no they haven't they haven't changed they just changed that clothing they're still a wolf they're still a wolf beloved but here what i'm seeing for you with the queen of wands you can do something about this you can absolutely do something about this. You can take back your power, take back your independence from this person, and cut them off as they should be cut off. It's it's not worth it. It's not worth your peace. Two of Wands, you make your plans, make a decision to cut them off with this Two of Wands. Plan your exit and if you need help in any way or if you feel unsafe in any way, I ask that you reach out to authorities. I am not a professional lawyer or law enforcement person. If it is that type of relationship where it could be unsafe for you, make a safe strategic exit plan. That's what I'm feeling with this two of wands. Five of cups, right? You are feeling... I'm feeling with this Five of Cups, the reason, and it's coming back to this, the reason you let them back in, you were somewhat disappointed in yourself at how the relationship went. And I feel like that's a part of the gaslighting, the gaslighting that they would hound you with and beat you down with. And you thought it was you and it wasn't, beloved. It was absolutely them. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, we. you have to make your plans. That was the disappointment you felt and the reason why you gave them a second chance. It had nothing to do with, with you. You did nothing wrong. You were absolutely right to end the relationship when you did previously. But I'm not feeling like this is a good reconnection um, from your past. Because they have not changed. They're trying to present themselves as someone who has changed. And they haven't. They absolutely haven't. Right. They want to They want to show you how successful they are. 
and how their life has grown. But that, that all came at manipulation. They manipulated other people just as they had manipulated you to uh, get to this successful place. Let me tell you something. Um, demons have successful lives too. Negative, toxic people have successful lives too. And we don't know what it took how they had to sell their soul, but they are not who they say they are. They're presenting themselves as someone who is trustworthy or chivalrous and worth um, worthy of praise and accolades. It's not true, beloved. Who is this person to you, right? This is wild. This is very wild. Um, I'm feeling Scorpio definitely is here. Um, so is there a Scorpio around you who is pretending? What else am I feeling? Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Star card. Okay, so we have Aquarius showing up. They're hoping that you don't figure it out this time. That you they have they want to have some kind of hold on you. They are obsessed with you and just had to get you back, beloved. So they're hoping you don't see through to their true colors. But you will. There's also Virgo in this reading. Um mm-hmm. Mm Oh, they want the happily ever after with you, but the happily ever after only comes for them because they break you and they get to isolate you and they get to keep you under their control. The happily ever after is not meant for the both of you in this friendship, in this relationship, platonic or romantic, intimate, whatever. The happily ever after is for them that they are, they are a narcissist and they only care about what they want. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is not good. You have to run. Do not walk. Spirit, anything else for this beloved human to know? You have to keep your eyes open, but you are able to do so with the Two of Wands. Make your plan to exit. Take back your power. Open your eyes. Open your spiritual eye to see who they really are and what they're trying to do. Temperance, wow. Okay, so with the temperance, Sagittarius um, is showing up with the temperance card. Oh, they are walking a tightrope to keep their agenda hidden. They are trying to balance this. They're walking the line to keep their agenda hidden so that you are not able to figure out that they haven't changed. But... Spirit is showing you they are still an impersonator of a kind person. Spirit is showing you they are still a wolf in sheep's clothing. You have to get rid of them. You have to run. Don't walk because it's the same shit, different day. You thought it was something you did, so you decided when they came back from your past to give them a second chance because you are a kind-hearted person, beloved human. But it was never you. They always were. They were always gaslighting you, making you feel like you couldn't do anything right, making you feel like you could not think for yourself, making they making you feel like you would make wrong decisions. And they are always right. Follow their lead. Uh, they didn't want you hanging around people that you truly cared about because those people could see through that through this. Uh, through to the wolf that is in sheep's clothing. And those people would have warned you sooner. But they would isolate you and make you feel really low. And, and had you living at a, a low vibrational frequency. And, and always thinking you were not good enough. Or you were always doing something wrong. Beloved human, it was not you. It was not you. It was never you. You made the right decision to separate previously and and spirit is asking you to make the right decision again and go ahead and end this relationship swiftly run to the finish line it has to be done because they mean you no good all right you can do this do it safely tell somebody else 
what your plan is and what you're experiencing. And no, you're not crazy. You are absolutely not crazy, but they want to make you feel like that. So make sure you get a good support system and end this bullshit. You don't have to deal with it. It was never you. It was always them.